Hi, my loves, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle prophetess, you guys. So if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a high vibe tribe of light workers, star seeds, empaths, psychics, witches, whatever, all the things, right? But we breed love and light on this channel. So welcome, okay? Um, those of you guys returning, welcome back. I just want to take a moment to just share a moment of appreciation with you guys, okay? I love you. You guys are my fucking people. You're my tribe. You're my soul family. And um, the, the whole reason I'm doing all of this is for the collective, for you, right? So I just want to say thank you for all of your comments, your likes, your subscriptions, um, for sharing with me how the videos resonate for sharing with me that, you know, just all the things you guys that my light has affected you, that I bring light to you, that um, you watch these videos because they're healing, because all the reasons, right? All the reasons, right? And it's an alignment with with the highest energy of all, which is love, that, that which is love, right? So, you know, um, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart, my mind, my soul, everything, right? Like, thank you, okay? So I love you guys and uh, just know that we're in a very intense time, okay? And, uh, you know, from right now, okay, we're hitting Libra season, we have the equinox, which I call the great equalizer, equinox, equality, equal, equal balance, right? It's the equalizer. It's coming through. This this fall equinox is coming through with the justice, uh, the Libra energy and the justice scales. And it is freaking annihilating. Okay, it's like mowing out all the lawn. It's, it's mowing shit down, okay? So <clears throat> get ready. Get ready. There's big shifts, big changes. Justice is karma. You get what you give. What you put out, you get back. What have you been putting out? Because that's what you're about to receive, right? There's blessings coming in. Big blessings coming in. You've been doing the work. You, you're blessed. You already know if you've made it to this channel, the majority of you here, okay, overall, you're blessed. Okay, because this is a blessed channel. You come here, you're going to get healing. You're going to get activations from, from my energy, from the channel energy. That's a part of my light gifts, you guys. I activate. You can't be around me in my energy field. You just can't without being activated. You just, you'll be activated. Trust me. So... Let's get right into it. You guys have seen the title. You guys know why you're here. Um, this is energy check-in uh, for the Divine Counterpart Collective, all right? this That means those of you guys out there who have a Divine Counterpart who you are meant to come into union with. 333 three, three, when I look up. King of Swords when I look on the bottom. <laughs> when I look up, when I look down, I got 333, three, three, King of Swords. All right. Someone, okay, there's a King of Swords energy here. Ace of Pentacles and then Strength, Leo. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Earth sign showing up immediately as well and Fire with Leo. All right. Let me shuffle some more, you guys. This King of Swords is quiet. He's been quiet. He's quiet right now. Okay. Um, he's been defensive. This King of Swords, this Divine Masculine is on the defense right now. Today, the Divine Masculine is on a defense mode. They're feeling defensive. So they must be having to defend themselves in life right now. I don't know. One reason or the next, they're feeling a little defensive. That's what I get. They're also very nervous. Yesterday, you know, the collective energy, I woke up. I was like, what is this? This is not my anxiety. This is not my fear. This is not me. This is the collective. This is the divine masculine even. Right? You guys know I posted it. I shared with you. I share always everything. 
all my channelings, right? The cards just backed me up, you guys. Really, I don't need the cards whatsoever in a reading. Look at that. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. This, this indicates change, obstacles, and challenges, right? The five is a change. This masculine is changing. They've changed. They've been through a lot. Their life has not been great, you guys. Their life has not been great. The tower has been coming down hard. The universe has been coming down hard. But there's... It's like... It's like someone who gets drugged through the mud, right? Like they're just like getting tossed around and drugged through the mud and all that. But he's still fine. Like he's still holding this cup. Like he's been holding this cup through all his everything being drug and right that he's like no 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 no. i got my cup i got my cup i'm not gonna let it fall i'm not gonna drop it i've got a whole bunch of love that i need to give and and i'm holding on to it all right but this person has been stingy with their energy they've been stingy with their time their energy their emotions and this offer this commitment they've been holding on to it but they're out in the cold okay we're, we're going into like the fall winter seasons you know the cold the barren the right it's the death and then we have the rebirth right in spring so a lot of endings right now you know what i mean like there's a lot of this he's he's defensive but he's also using the sword okay so the things that the things that are making him feel defensive he's cutting away that's what it is I'm getting like, um, this person is beating themselves up over, they've been beating themselves up. Yep. Six of wands. That's a yes. And it lands on the five. So we have six and five, which breaks down to an 11. All right. So we have some type of new beginning here, right? But this is also about awakening and, and things like that. Someone is feeling victorious. They want victory. They intend to overcome this obstacle, this challenge here. That's why he's, that's why the king with the weapon came out. He's the, the, the king and queen of swords are the only suit with weapons, right? They are warriors, okay? You're a warrior, they're a warrior. If this is your match, then, right? They're showing up. They want to show up for you. They want to let you know, hey, I am a fighter. I'm strong. I'm strong. I have strength. I have inner courage. I'm brave. I'm not just ego. I'm not just pride. I thought that's what you wanted, right? The, 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 the things that they did, this person, with you in the past, okay? It's like, see how she's shutting the mouth to that lion? I mean, she's in control. That lion is submitting to her. She's divine. She's divine. She's dressed all in white. I mean, she is divine. Like an angel. They, when you guys met, it was like you, you, you experienced for some of you guys, you experienced their lion, you know that, but it's the shadow lion. It's that I've got to be ferocious because, you know, if I'm not ferocious, that shows weakness. You know what I mean? And I'm not weak. I'm not vulnerable. I'm not weak. This person, they've had to cut away a lot of ego and stuff. Okay. Okay. You activated them. Speaking of activations, you guys activated each other, but your light activated them. It, it calmed the beast within, you know? It calmed their beast. It soothed their soul. You soothed their soul. Clarify the King of Swords, please. It's the Four of Wands. He's cutting everything away. Out in the cold, five of pentacles, and then the four. Four, five, six. Look, everything's starting to happen in order. See? Things are lining up. This person is doing the work. They're doing the work. They're doing shadow work. They've been doing shadow work. Clarify what I'm what I'm getting. Is this masculine doing the work? Yep. Manifestation. They are doing the work. The red is action. The red is fire and passion. It's what drives you, right? This person is very driven at this time. They're very driven, very focused on you too. They're like, I'm not going to get distracted this time. See, there's all these distractions trying to pop up and, right? 
they're like, no, I'm not going to get distracted this time. I know who and what and where I need to go, right? Like what I, manifestation. The, the ones are new beginnings too, right? Like as above, so below. Look, you guys are a match. You guys both have the infinity symbols above you. See? See? Okay. Speaking of distractions, sorry if you guys can hear that music outside. <laughs> Good old Mercury retrograde. Always messing up the communication. All right, four of pentacles landing on the five of pentacles. Four and five, that's a nine. That's an ending. They are doing shadow work indeed. They're cutting away ancestral, you know, stuff. They're they're healing, healing. The star card Aquarius is healing. We have Gemini, <clears throat> excuse me, and Leo for the for the majors, but you know how I said that that person was like holding on to their cup like the whole time. You know what I mean? Like with that Knight of, I didn't take out the Knight of Cups. I should have. It's okay. It's not really important. It was just like the symbolism of what I was talking about. Um, holding on very tightly to that cup. This person has been thrown around, tossed around, right, drugged through the mud. It's just like they've been beat up in life. Life has been beating them up. They put themselves out in the cold though, right? This person more than likely went under judgment by the universe, right? Because this is a divine counterpart. They were resisting the work. They were resisting ascension. And this is someone who is hands down meant to ascend in this lifetime. They're meant to rise up in frequency and meet you. And you guys are meant to whatever. Sprinkle your light all over the earth. I don't know. But this is for sure that. I mean, the, the four, the... The four of pentacles speaks of, you know, ancestry. It's your home and lineage and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But it's also, it's like a miser. It's someone who doesn't want to let go of like their 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 3D ways and their, their time or their resources, right? This person was stingy. I said that. They were stingy. This is this card of stingy. They were stingy with their love and their heart. They probably more than likely showed you a lot of passion, right? But when it came to being open and vulnerable, they couldn't. They couldn't open up. This is someone who was very scared to open up. This is someone who has a lot of deeply rooted, uh, you know, trauma. This king of, that's why, you know, I, I feel like that's why they're so defensive to you right now because I feel like people around, like they're changing, they've changed, they're changing. And I feel like the people around them, partners, friends, family, they're going, you, you're changing. What's like, you're, you're, you're different. And they're like, yeah, I know I'm manifesting a whole new life, a whole new reality here as above. So below I'm connecting to my higher self, right? Like, they're manifesting union though. They're manifesting a uh, union with you. This is engagement. It's 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 commitment for you know, this is the fourth house. You have someone who wants to build a home with you. That's what this is. They want to build a home with you. They want to marry you. They want to build a home with you. All right. Okay. So let's see what else star card we're going to take that all right so they're healing definitely healing look at that they're looking back they're reflecting they're going wow i sabotaged this i messed this up you know i messed this up because i was scared i was fearful my root chakra was extremely blocked i didn't i didn't have my power i acted like a big brave lion but i was not a big brave lion i was hurt inside i was broken i was beat up i was battered this person has abandonment wounds this person is used to they connect love to trauma. They connect love to failure. They connect love to abandonment. Every time I open my heart, things go wrong. I end up out in the cold. Like, no, I'm holding. Mm -mm. Nope, not this time. And uh, that's what happened. But the way that you you guys looked at each other, there's something about the way you guys looked in each other's eyes too. When When you guys first met, when you guys first touched, when you guys first looked into each other's eyes, I am hearing, yes, yeah, the eyes are the windows to the soul, but I am hearing that this, this masculine, they could have stared into your eyes forever. There's something about your, your beautiful eyes, your eyes, you know, if you're a man, it's, a, it's still your eyes. It doesn't matter. Uh, 
I'm hearing Van Morrison. Cause you are my brown eyed girl. Okay. Do you remember when we used to say fa la la la, right? That's that. You're my brown eyed girl, whether you have green eyes, brown eyes, blue eyes, right? Like it doesn't matter. You are like their, their girl, their brown eyed girl. It's like just the, the, the endearment of the song. You know what I mean? It's the emotion of the song. It's what the, he means in the song. I'm dreaming of you. Now I'm hearing Selena. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. I'll be holding you tight. <laughs> you guys, I'm like, so, my voice, my, my, my voice and my throat have been like way off like for the last like week or two, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not trying to like sing during my Mercury retrograde anyways. Not that I can sing or anything, but you know, sometimes I can get, you know, a good note going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars, seven small ones and one big one. Hmm. I'm channeling my love, so just give me a moment. You guys could be seeing a lot of 17 and 8. I, I've been channeling out a lot of 111, but you guys are also getting a lot of 888. Um, comment down below if you guys are getting a lot of 111 and 888, okay? For me as a as a divine channeler, okay, I have my own stuff, like, you're not going to see another reader say this, but, you know, more than likely, like, right, because it's from me, it's a channeled thing from me. When you start seeing 888, okay, like, I mean, all the time, like, every, you know, like, you're like, I, every time I turn around today, I see 888, 888, 888, right? It's like nonstop, boom, 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 boom. Seven to eight times in one day, you get 888. Like, it's like that, right? Like, you guys get what I mean? It's not just like, oh, I get 444 four, four here and then 222 two, two there. No, no, I'm talking about 888 and it's constant all the time. When you get that, the universe is letting you know that your twin is mirroring you in the way that they're about to reach, they're about to reach out to you. They're about to reach out to you. They feel the same. They want to reach out. They're going to make contact. That's what it is. Spirit, please clarify the 888 synchronicity um, and my channeled message. So again, you guys, this is, you're not going to hear another reader say that because literally it was, it's for me. So, you know, but I'm telling you guys, it's a thing. See, look. A message. Didn't I not just say when you guys get 888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888
That's my soul tribe. That's my soul family. They know that you are their soul family. That's why they're in this nine of swords, the king of swords in the nine of swords. Your person doesn't have to be an air sign, you guys. Please don't get hung up on the zodiacs because I can literally hear that right now. I can hear people saying that like, oh, but like king, my person's not a king of swords. It doesn't matter. It's energy. And it's time. It's time. The universe is saying it's time. The wheel is turning. Your wheel is turning. And this DM can feel it. And they don't want the wheel to turn again without, without them. They don't want the wheel to turn without them. They don't want your wheel to turn without them. It's time. This is destiny. This also shows that they have completed, they're completing karmic cycles. Okay? Because after this is justice. They complete the karmic cycles and then boom, justice. And we are literally in justice season. Libra season is in what, one day? Two days, I don't know. I'm a Libra, I should know that. <laughs> but I know it's around the 22nd, 21st of September, whatever you guys. Something like that, yeah, see, truth. Spirits like preach, truth. For some of you guys, okay, like for some of you guys, I've been, for months now, I was, or for, you know, while I was channeling um, that you would get like, I don't know, something around like, the end of September. Okay. But I was specifically getting like between the 19th and the 22nd of September. Right. Um, so, but anyways, a lot of you guys are going to be getting communication. I mean, literally it's happening, happening to so many daily. It's crazy. It's crazy. And don't, don't get discouraged because it hasn't happened yet. Right. Like don't get discouraged because it hasn't happened yet. Don't get discouraged by other people's comments or by other things people say, like you guys don't, mm -mm, right. Just because it's not happening for one person doesn't mean it's not happening for a bunch of other people, right? Right. All right. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we have like four cards with pentacles and we have like four cards with the swords. You guys may be seeing a lot of 4-4 four, four as well. It's your angels, your guides. But this right here is showing me with all the swords and this breakthrough. This is a new beginning. This is someone that, This is someone who, it's a breakthrough. What I'm getting here is that this person is like doing the shadow work and cutting things away. They're honoring the Ace of Swords. They're honoring the Ace of Swords. Like, they are bringing in the Ace of Swords. He's holding it. I mean, they're bringing in this Ace of Swords. They're using the sword and they're cutting away all of the falseness in their life. You know, the swords are truth and, and justice and, you know, logic and, and intellect and all these things, right? Wisdom, blah, 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 right? Um, thoughts. They're cutting away all negative thoughts. They are aligning they are, I'm hearing double-edged sword. They're seeing the double-edged sword. They're seeing like the things that have happened in their life. Duality, if you will. They're getting, they're seeing things with dualistic vision now. A dualistic reality. They're no longer just seeing 3D, one-sided, flat face, right? They're seeing everything now. <laughs> you guys get what I mean? The six and seven of swords, look at that. And then judgment. I said that under judgment. It also shows me that the divine masculine energy has made a, a judgment call. This king of swords has made a judgment call to resurrect themselves. Like this is about, I want to, I want to talk to you, but this is also, I want to clean slate, but this is also, I've made a judgment call to wipe away all of the, all of the gray, all of the blah, all of the dead, all of the stagnant, all of that, right? This divine masculine feels like there is, so, this could be a masculine who feels like, you know, they could have been running. They could have been a runner in the past, right? But they could have been running because maybe they felt like they had, uh, they were responsible for other people or, right? Whatever this is, this is them being pulled on. That's what I'm getting. These energies right here are like, oh, you know, and so this masculine feels like they get pulled on a lot. That's what I get. Yeah, temperance, healing, and then three of or four of swords. 
I said, I almost said three of swords, so. The, okay, so today the Divine Masculine energy that I'm picking up on is, um, it's like a overall, like a, a it's a complete surrender. It's a, it's a, I'm hearing now or never by Elvis. It's now or never, right? It's now or never. It's now or never. They've been trying to temper themselves. They've been trying to temper their life, temper themselves, hold themselves back, right? Whatever. One foot in, one foot up, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't work anymore. Doesn't work anymore. Clarify judgment and temperance. Clarify it's now or never. Three of pentacles. And then look at that. This is manifestations flying in at a very high speed. It's also a very, it's a shift in energy. It's like a, a complete energy shift. Okay. Because, because you've stood your ground, you know, the eight of wands comes after the seven of wands. The seven of wands speaks of what? Perseverance. It could also speak of being backed into a corner. That's what I get to this masculine for a lot of you guys. They felt backed in a corner. Like they felt trapped. Thank you, spirit. They felt trapped, backed in a corner. But they've stood their ground. See the seven of wands? Stand your ground. It's standing your ground. Also, remember I said defensive? It's funny that I'm channeling the seven of wands now because that could also be it. It's you're defending yourself. This person is defending themselves. They're defending you, this connection, themselves. There could be people around them trying to like talk badly about you, the divine feminine. And they're going, no, you are not going to speak ill about my divine feminine. They're standing up for all of it. And they're coming in. And some of them could be flying, taking a trip. This could be air travel, airplane. But this is passionate communication. Flying in. And look who came back. And look what he showed up with. The world. And this shows you that this person is going through completion. 999, remember? And they're showing up with a huge cup of love. They have not let this go. For some of you guys, you've been, right? You've gone through a whole, you've gone through cycles of years, right? You've gone through these zodiac signs. You've gone through these cycles, right? He's, they've held on the whole time. He's been holding on to it the whole time. He sees now, look, he's lifted the helmet, the helmets up. He sees now, he sees. This could also indicate a long distance, right? Someone who's traveling towards you with a big cup of love from a long distance. They have to cross rivers and mountains and, you know, deserts or whatever, right? Like to get to you. Worldwide travel. This is also the worldwide web, the internet. Okay, maybe you guys met online. Maybe you met on the internet. But this person is definitely admiring you secretly online. They're watching you. Okay. You guys, I keep getting heart chakra, about like heart chakra palpitations, right? And it's forcing my throat to start acting up, okay? That's this. That's the, this person's heart is so heavily activated. I mean, every, they can't stop thinking about you. This is just thinking, 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 thinking nonstop. You know, they could be like out at their garden, like, you know, just like thinking, 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 right? Because this is a garden. This is harvest. This is your abundance. The seeds you planted. And then the sun, more Leo energy, see? This is, look at, happily ever after, the Ten of Cups. And then the, look. This is figuring things out. This is also someone who's very busy, okay? They juggle a lot. They have a lot going on. They have a lot on their plate. But this is someone who's figuring things out. They're, they're, they're weighing the options, right? V figuring it out, right? Da, 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 da. But it's not like weighing the options like, oh, divine feminine or no. Mm -mm. Their mind is absolutely a thousand percent. You are their absolute bliss and joy and happiness. I said you activated them. This is activation. The sun is activated. This person is enlightened. Enlightened. They're cutting themselves away from this one little thing and then they come to you. See, justice. They bring justice. You guys, you're about to receive justice, okay? Karmic justice in, in justice season, in Libra season. All right. So I'm going to keep some of these guys out real quick, and then I'm going to... There we are. 
30 minutes? All right. They cannot let you, you, they, mm -mm. they've come to, they've, 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 um, they've become enlightened to the fact that you guys are like you, what you are to them is someone that they will never be able to forget or let go of. This person knows that I'm never going to let go of this person. I even just heard, I tried this person tried. They tried letting go of you. They tried cutting, cutting you away. They tried, they tried resisting ascension. They tried resisting, you know, balance. They tried re resisting their healing. They tried resisting, you know, um, judgment. They, it's all of it. That's why they went under judgment because they resisted, like I said, right? This is like the happiest days of your life. You guys, seriously, like you, the energy that's coming in is just like, whoa, it's beautiful. It's happily ever after on fleek. This is exposure, revelation. There's things being revealed to you very soon here is what I get, okay? All right. So again, for a lot of you guys, it's happening over the next couple days, okay? Because of the dates that, you know, I've been channeling. Now, um, the next huge wave of energy, we have 1010 portal coming up. We have all this stuff happening. I don't know what that was, but it's fine. Um, and... I will share with you guys more and more specific dates. Um, I don't want to say anything right now. But I can tell you from this time through the 1111 portal, it's going to be popping. Popping like popcorn. Let me just tell you, from the 1010 portal, going up from, the, from October 10th to the Halloween, okay, right before Halloween, we have a, a, an eclipse. And that eclipse is going to be really powerful. And then on November 8th, okay, so like a week or two, whatever, week and a half later, whatever, like two weeks later, we have a, a total lunar eclipse on November 8th, right before the 1111 portal, okay? Now, I'm not an astrologer, but I do, I do my homework, you know, because I receive so much information and so much energy and downloads and insight and prophecy and all that, you guys. Um, that I, I'm like, okay, well, what, what is, and, and I'm guided, I'm guided, go search for the energy around this state, see what's going on, right? That's what I do. And you guys, every single time, everything that I'm shown, prophesized, seeing whatever, it lines up perfectly. It's so perfect. It's crazy. I, I know I've been like a super hardcore, like astrologer and, you know, like stuff like that, like high priestess. I am a high priestess, you know, I'm a white witch. I'm a high priestess. Like this is, you know what I mean? I've lived in so many different dimensions and so many different lifetimes. Many of you guys have too, right? That's what we are, light worker star seats. We are multi-dimensional beings. <laughs> but anyways, my whole point of that is, is that like, it's just very close to my heart and my soul. And um, so anyway, so that's why, yeah. But I don't, I'm not an astrologer, you guys. I'm, I'm a psychic medium. I'm an oracle. I'm a prophetess, right? There's plenty of astrologers here on YouTube and everywhere else that are like, that's what they do do. And they're awesome and amazing. And it's so cool. And I would love to like actually like study astrology, but you guys get it. Healing heart. Did I not say healing? Look at healing. This masculine is healing from heartbreak. They are, it says healing from heartbreak. Freedom. The sun also indicates freedom and this is justice. So they free themselves or are freeing themselves from a karmic contract or any kind of contracts, right? Keeping you two apart. That's what that is. They've done the work. The lesson has been learned. That's why we have the wheel of fortune. And I said the wheel is turning. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or an addiction. This person is free they're freeing themselves from toxic relationship or an addiction. What it is, is it's a toxic relationship or an addiction. But if it's a toxic relationship, it's one that they were codependent upon. So it was like an addiction. I'm also hearing sex addict. Someone here could seriously be like a sex addict or maybe this masculine has had, that was part of like their karma or clearing, you know, maybe even was, a, that was a part of their shadow work, okay, was getting themselves under control because what I'm getting is some of these masculines were very promiscuous. The boat, your ships are arriving. 
someone is coming in you're like the lighthouse you've been they've been following your light home receiving what you need progression is oh, it says receiving what you need progression arriving moving on and closure issues they are moving on from toxic relationships or addictions or codependent ways of being and living period i said that they've called judgment that's this i called judgment i'm making a judgment call in my life I am tired of feeling this way all the time, every day, whatever, right? That's what they did. Oh, and then here on the bottom of the deck, just staring at me in the face is the coffee cup. This masculine, this king of swords energy, this whoever, right? They're ready to, they want to meet up and converse, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. They miss having you in their life, earth angel. And after the coffee cup, spirit said, look, after the coffee cup is lightning, there is a sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. It's like the tower. But this person is coming in like a flash of lightning. They come in like a lightning bolt, like a ton of bricks. When this person comes forward, you guys, they're going to be ready to open up and talk and they're going to be completely different. They're going to be very open and vulnerable. They're going to show you the, the loving lion, the, the, the light lion versus the shadow lion. Okay. Because they've been doing the work. They've been cutting things away. All right. <clears throat> show me the energy around the divine masculine today. Fulfillment. You got the ships here. You got a bag of money. It's another nine. This is fulfillment. We also have Sagittarius energy showing up. Enthusiasm. They Look at this, nine, nine. This is enthusiastic about the wish fulfillment that they are going towards. That's what it is. They have never felt so like just in, like I'm hearing enthralled, but excited and, and, and pulled and they're excited about this. You are fulfillment to them and they are enthusiastic about this. Look at this, 9-9, nine, nine. I, I channeled out 999 nine, nine earlier with all the numbers and all that. Look at that, 9-9 nine, nine showing up again, confirming, and then 12. You guys could be getting a lot of that, 12, 12, 21, 21, you know, stuff like that, like just the numbers and it breaks down to that 3-3. Three, three. But this is an escape, it literally is an escape. Look at this, this person is flying, fleeing, I'm hearing fleeing. They are fleeing. Look at, escape. Escape. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? Escape. Um, freedom from toxic relationship or an addiction. They're escaping the toxic karma. They're cl they've cleared it. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Let do some Halloween Oracle real quick for the for the overall incoming energy, please. Between the divine masculine and the divine feminine at this time infinite possibilities it's the skull of stars it's like the star card energy infinite possibilities you guys are about to come together and when you do sky is the limit okay in all areas but this person views you as all the things till death do us part with the skull right till death do us part see look joy rejoicing in the present and look at you I, sh I mean you can't make it up I've just been talking all about fall and the and the equinox the great equalizer and the season and how it's you know death and rebirth and it's barren and the leap right this fall is the leaves fall and mother nature shows us how to shed our you know shed our leaves and go through rebirth right this is that look at that beautiful energy it's fall autumn someone's name could be autumn Rejoicing in the present. This person is now realizing that they are an infinite being and that you guys belong together and that it'll be joyous. I mean, really rejoicing in the present. They're, they're now feeling like more in their life present. Like it's like, I want to be present in my life. You are their joy. You are their happiness. I'm going to switch again real quick. All right. Let me just get it. 
Show me the Divine Masculine Soul Energy. Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. The higher self is telling the Divine Masculine it's time. It's time. The Garden of Venus, the Venusian energy, that is love. That is, that is love and compassion, passion. It's all the things. It's beauty. You are the Garden of Venus. Look at this. Rest and renewal. They're resting. Four of Swords and they want a renewal here. They're resting. They, you know, they end things. They, they want to take a moment to breathe, rest, gather themselves, and then and then come forward. The Sky Dancer, surrender. Look at. They're resting, so that they can have. You know, after after the storm, they've got to rest a little bit and then come towards you. This is full surrender. The Sky Dancers. Someone's age could be twenty five or forty eight. So this is the soul. The soul and the higher self has guided this divine masculine and they have completely surrendered to the higher self. They are in alignment. That's why they're cutting everything away now. The net caster, 42, breaks down to a six. Preparations come to fruition. See, they, they're preparing to bring this to fruition. You're, they're caught in your net. You guys are in each other's nets, all right? But this is that. It's that. Okay. So spirit, show me the 3D. Show me the 3D self for the for the divine masculine. The woodwives adaptability. The 3D self is now becoming adaptable. The 3D self is adapting to the surrender and to their divinity. 64 breaks down to a 10. This is that ending new beginning. This is that new beginning here. Okay. One more for the there we go. Transpersonal watchers, look at that. Very beautiful, very beautiful. And then reconciliations, the wailing tree. This is about your soul lineage, your family, your roots. It's also about being connected. You guys are super connected. The trees, you guys, are very, very connected. If one tree dies in a forest like a mile away, they all feel it, you know? Or if one is dying, they'll start sending nourishment and water and all that through the roots to help another tree because if one tree goes it affects them all right it's seriously like that they're like a nervous system the roots and the underground you guys it's insane the connectedness and that's what this is you guys are connected no matter what you guys are connected it's strong too you guys have had past lives together this is your lineage they want to lay down roots with you they look at you like someone very strong again with the coloring autumn fall reconciliations They're ready to reconcile this love, this soul union, this divine union. They want to reconcile. This is also heavy sacral and root energy for me. Very sacral energy for me is what I'm getting off of this. The sexual energy that they feel towards you is insane. The kundalini is off the charts right now. You guys are about to have some amazing sex when you come together. Okay. Feast of Plenty, look at choices and their consequences. That's what they reflected on. They want to come tell you, I want to reconcile. I realize what I did, my choices, they had consequences and I faced them. Like, I get it. I know. Like, they want to, it's, it's all that, you guys. It's all that. It really is. It really is. Um, I was just going to get one of my mess. Oh, here they are. All right. So, so my loves, this is what I have for you today. If you guys want to book a personal psychic session with me, you can find the info down below. Um, send me an email. Give me a few days to respond, you guys. Um, I will get back to you. It may take me a few days, but I will get back. Okay. Um, if you don't hear back from me, like within like a week, email me again. Um, don't send a new thread though, you guys. Like, well, if you don't hear back from me, maybe, you know, you could try that. But I'm just saying, like, don't keep emailing me new threads because you guys will just get lost. I'm telling you right now, you'll get lost. You'll get buried. You'll get lost. There's way too much going on in the email section um, for, like, one person to send me, like, 10 different emails. You will get lost. Um, but it's not normal to not hear a response from me. So if that's the case, you guys, more than likely, like your, your email got shuffled into the black hole of my spam folder, which has thousands of emails and they're just like, you know, random ass shit. But for some reason or the next, like real emails in my, in my beloved tribe, they get shuffled in there. And I'm so sorry for those of you guys that ha that has happened to, but yeah, just let me know. Just email me. Okay.
Because like I said, it's not normal to not hear back from me. So if you don't hear back from me, it's because you got shuffled. You got lost. Plain as day, you can't make it up. I can't get you out of my head, out of my mind. You are all that I think about and you're all that I want. I never thought that I could feel this way. See? They, you, you brought a whole new level to this person's life. You guys brought a whole new level to each other's lives. Let me just tell you. I told you guys with the world card and the knight of cups, I was like, this person is admiring you. They're watching you online. I watch you on social media. I'm obsessed. Yep. Obsession. They're in love. They're in love. I never wanted to get married again until I met you. Okay. So some of you guys, this person was married before and they were like, this is, I'm done. Remember I said, love is negative. I attach it to all that, right? Like, look at that. They want to marry you so hard. It's not even funny. Me and my children loved you. We all miss you. So you guys met their children if they have children, right? Like you got, right? Like they, they all love you. This person thinks a lot about that kind of stuff. The King of Swords is very logical. He's a logical thinker. That's oftentimes his hiccup, his holdup, because he thinks too logically. He starts to analyze and think and blah, 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 right? And then he blocks himself from, from beauty, right? And, 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 and true love. But this person has seen that. They see that. I am going through a great awakening. I am, so, oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. This is what I mean when I say I don't need the cards. If you guys are new here, it's always like this. <laughs> but it just never gets old. I'm always like, I'm dead. This is crazy, right? Because my channeling is just like, my gifts are fucking nuts right now, you guys. My mediumship is insane. Like, I'm for real seeing like actual spirits now. Like people. Like solid spirits and ghosts, okay? Like my gifts are insane right now, okay? Insane. Who else can resonate? Who else out there can feel their gifts going through the damn roof, you guys? I do not need these cards. Okay. So literally, as I was talking about their seeing, it says, I'm going through my great awakening. I am seeing things in a new light. See? The, I said that with the sun. This is an awakening. Whew. And then earlier, I also said that they were resisting their ascension, which is why they went under judgment, which is why their life has been shitty or whatever. <laughs> Right? Because shit goes wrong for us when we're under judgment. Because we're not learning our lessons. Because we're keeping ourselves in bad places, situations, jobs, relationships, whatever. Right? I am surrendering to ascension. I am waking up and for the first time in a long time, I feel free. Did I not say freedom earlier with the Freedom. The sun. I'm freeing myself. I feel free. That's freedom. I feel good. I'm happy. Like that's all the things. You're that for them. You are the sunshine for them. You are the sun. You're the sun, moon, and the stars, but you are the sun. You're their happiness and their wish fulfillment. And then it goes, right? It goes upside down. Okay. So that's it. That's done. So anyways, I send you guys so much love, so much light. Again, to book a personal psychic session, you can find the info down below. I also do past life Akashic readings, you guys. They are extremely powerful <laughs> and uh, extremely cool. They're like my favorite readings to do, um, but that's an option as well. And then I do offer a 20-minute vent sesh, okay? It is not a reading. That's why I have a vent sesh versus reading options, right? The vent sesh is not a reading. Um, it's 20 minutes, $55 US. Um, so please don't email me thinking you're going to get a reading out of me for, for the 20 minute sesh, right? No, um, I don't channel nothing. If I feel called for some reason by spirit for you during your session to pull a card or to channel something out for you, then I will. Okay. I'm not going to be like, no, I'm not going to do that. But I go in with the intention that it's not a reading and spirit knows that. So, but I'm here to you. It's a vent sesh. So you guys, how many of us who, who have gone through this awakening, ascension, dark night, wherever you are in your journey or your process, you oftentimes feel like nobody understands you. You can't talk to people about it because people will think you're fucking nuts because of the things you're experiencing. I will never think that. You got, trust me, I'm, I'm Captain Weird, Captain Weirdo, okay? I'm Queen Weirdo, all right? But I, I love it. I embrace my weird. I fucking love myself. So you guys, I am here for you. I'm here for you. You want to open up? I'm here for you, okay? So I send you so much love, so much light. Oh my gosh, you guys, get ready. A lot of your lives are about to really drastically change, okay? Bye, my loves.